What's going on guys, it's Connor here with TC Bros and today I'm going to show you how to install a set of our TC Bros mid controls for 91 to 03 Harley Sportsters. Not all bikes are the same and you guys know that. So we're going to be starting with a bike that already has the mid controls disassembled on it. You might have some that has a forward controls on it. You might already have mid controls and you're just upgrading. Some bikes you're going to have to remove the exhaust for, some you're not. They're all different, but I'm going to show you how to do a basic install on our bike we have here. And in order to keep this video from being 30 minutes long, if you ever at any point have any questions, you can refer back to the instructions that are included in the kit. These are extremely detailed and provide much more context than what I will in this video. Because I do have our TC Bros billet sprocket cover. If you don't have this, your OEM one installs the exact same way, so no worries. I'm starting on the brake side first, but it honestly doesn't really matter. What does matter is that you use blue Loctite for all mounting hardware. I've already got the jam nuts and clevis installed on the rear master cylinder, so we're gonna jump right into installing the brake lever. There's a three quarter inch bolt on the back side of the lever assembly that installs the lever assembly to the sprocket cover. You're gonna to wanna to get this really, really tight as you won't be able to access it later. We're also going to ensure that our foot peg clevis is on a 45 degree angle. This would be so that way in the event your bike would scrape on the ground, your foot peg would come up with the clevis and it does not interfere with the bike. Then you need to tighten down the four 3 16 Allen bolts and the corresponding spacers. This is going to tighten down the sprocket cover to the bike itself. Don't forget to use blue Loctite on this. There's also a three quarter inch nut to tighten down located directly underneath your brake lever. Next, we're going to install a rear master cylinder. That's going to install with two quick quarter inch Allen bolts. And then after that, we can go ahead and install our brake clevis to our brake lever. The brake clevis and brake lever should line up pretty good, but it might need a little bit of extra encouragement to get that bolt to slide through. Once that bolt slid through, all it is is a cotter key on the back side. We install that, we bend the edges so that way it can't come loose on us and we're good to go. If you purchase our mid control kit with pegs, this is where it'll come into play. If you didn't, then you'll be reinstalling your original OEM hardware here. The pegs install extremely easy with a quarter inch Allen. We have these in different size and color variations, and they offer an awesome look while retaining maximum functionality on your bike. We install both the foot peg and the brake lever in this step, and once that's done, we're done with this side. Next, we can move on to our shift side. The first order of business will be to install the shift lever onto the bike. We recommend a rubber mallet so you don't mar up the end of your shift lever. Use your 3 16 Allen to tighten that bolt down and then we move on to the mounting hardware for our shift side mounting support bracket for our mid controls. Now I already have mine installed but you're going to want to use a 9 16 to tighten up your foot peg mounting bracket before you install your mid control mounting bracket as you don't have enough clearance to tighten it down once it's installed on the bike. We want to ensure that this side is at the same 45 degree angle as our brake side. With that done, we can apply a little bit of blue Loctite and install the two quarter inch Allen bolts. If you bought our kit with pegs, this is where you'll be installing that clevis. Otherwise, you'll be reinstalling your OEM hardware. Just like the brake side, we're gonna use a quarter inch Allen to tighten down these pegs on the shift side. And once you've got those tightened down, you've got your TC Bros mid controls for 1991 to 03 Harley Sportsters completely installed. If you had any questions at all during the install, you can refer back to your instructions that are included in the kit that provide much more context and detail than what I did in this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.